Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another yoga workout here at Steve Richards Fitness. And I don't know if you hear it in the background, but there, uh, uh, there's a local military base here and they're actually uh, blowing the horn. So I guess they're going to be able to do workouts now or eat breakfast or something. And it's, it's kind of cool background noise for not only having the pool here with the uh, little waterfall, but you know, just let everybody know, get the day started. Uh, and what we have today is basically going to be uh, stretching out our shoulders and neck. I had a shoulder workout this morning, so my neck is really tight. Also, looks like it's gonna rain, and that's usually when my neck and shoulders, and even my back, it really do feel uh, some pressure. So we're gonna concentrate on that. We're gonna do a little bit of a flow with that, but really concentrate on loosening up our neck, our shoulders, our traps, and uh, see where we're at. So it won't take too long, and this is an excellent compliment along with the shoulder mobility workout video at stevierichardsfitness.com. So check it out. Those two things together, what we're going to do here and that mobility workout video will really help you heal and help build strength and mobility in your shoulders. So as always, we're going to start out here in child's pose. And this is going to probably feel something in my shoulders even with this. Yeah, a little tight. My hamstrings are a little looser today from doing... Uh, that kind of stretch when I was feeling it after leg day, but right here, well, I feel my shoulders. I'm actually reaching out and gripping the mat with my fingers and not so much pushing on my butt back, but, but stretching my shoulders and dropping my head. It's really tight, so this is what I feel like today. If you feel like this, that's a good uh, good start to this. You know, we got some sounds coming throughout here, but... That's how you try to concentrate, breathe through it, and focus. And we all have to work on the uh, the meditative part of doing this kind of yoga, too, sometimes. So, we'll come up. Got everybody working here. That's why we wear the lav mic. So, I'm going to curl my toes. I'm going to work on these toes here. Inhale up. Drop your belly. Raise your head. This is going to work my neck a little bit here. Exhale. Drop your head. Arch your back. Inhale. See, I'm getting a little distracted. I gotta focus a little bit. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Ooh, I feel that in my back and my neck. Inhale. Exhale. All right, we're gonna go up and down dog here. So inhale. Now, curl your toes if you haven't before, and then push into down dog. And here's where I'm gonna feel it in my shoulders, neck, even my lower back, my hamstrings. Down dog can be pretty much a position, a pose that you use to get kind of a, an evaluation of what's going on with how you feel. My back is a little tight, so I'm getting the benefit of that, but I'm also getting the benefit of my shoulders and neck and I'm just going to stay here and ignore the noise and just breathe through it. That's what the Final Cut Pro uh, audio plugins are for, no many background noise. Unfortunately, you can't um, get rid of them live <laughs> as you're recording the video. That's okay, though. Just stay here. If you have to drop down in child's pose, do that and come back up into this. And I'm trying to stretch my shoulders out pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do here, instead of what we usually do is drop down or step our feet up, I'm going to come into a plank position. Oh, I feel that in my shoulders. I'm rounding my shoulders and back out a little bit and looking down. Oh, I feel that too much in my shoulders. It's, oh, man. If you feel it, drop your knees like this, like I'm going to do. Keep the toes curled. I still feel that in my shoulders, and I am using some isometrics here. I'm pushing through the mat and through the ground and move my head around a little bit. Oh, I feel that. And what I'm going to do is push back into child's pose here for a second because I felt that there. Hey, you can never tell when they're going to be doing uh, landscaping here. I usually have good timing with it, but not today. That's okay. Ugh, 
come back up. Okay, let's go back here. Try loosen up the shoulders and back again. Inhale. Exhale, drop your head, arch your back. Inhale, head up. Drop the belly. Exhale. Come back to neutral. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and face you. Feels like it's almost on purpose now. So I'm going to face you here. What we're going to do is some neck stretches and shoulder stretches right from here. So what I'm going to do, you know, you can sit like this. I'm going to probably prefer to sit like this because I can't really cross over because my hips and knees are, are still pretty tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull on our neck a little bit here and there, but be careful. So the first thing we're going to do without doing anything when we hold our neck is look each way. So the first thing we're going to do is look straight ahead and then look down. Just tuck your chin in a little bit and look straight down. You can grab your feet with your hands if you want. You can push down a little bit, get a little bit of benefit out of opening your hips up. And I'm gonna look down and just breathe. Actually, when I push my elbows in against the inner thighs, I feel around this in my shoulders too from a little bit of the isometrics pushing down. So, but if you feel pain or you're struggling, it's not about that. Just stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, now we're going to look up. So look up. Chin up, don't try to force it. Just look up and I'm gonna push down and round out my shoulders a little bit. Now, this is a little tougher, so my chin's not quite as high. This isn't really supernatural movement anyway, so you wanna be careful with this. I may just look up 45 degrees. That feels like the sweet spot right there. I'm gonna breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, <laughs> I'll just talk over it, how's that? Inhale, exhale. Okay, now I'm gonna just shake it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna look to my right, you're gonna look to your left. Remember, I'm mirroring you. So very carefully, look to your left. What you wanna do is just not throw it like this, but just gently look a little bit, 45 degrees, and then over, that feels good. And at this point too, my legs are starting to feel it. So I'm just gonna bring my hands up and just relax and do that. Now what I'm gonna go into in a second too here is another thing you can do for all four sides. We're not gonna spend as much time. So we're gonna come back to the center and then look to the right. So we're gonna handle all four sides again with a different position for our hands. This is probably going to be the most relaxed position you can have here, but also you have to engage your core a little bit, not to fall back. Of course, I have the pull here, so it's okay. So we're going to come back to center. Now we're going to do all four again, and I'm going to put my hands. What I do is put my fingers away from me and just get my shoulders back like that. And then inhale. Look straight at me. Exhale. Tuck your chin. That puts a little pull, more pull on your shoulders, your traps, and I can put my chin a little forward, which feels okay. I'm gonna bring my shoulders back and just work a little bit into this. Just like that. I can feel that. You gotta really spread your fingers wide on the ground, mat, rug, whatever you're using. And my chin's not quite as down now because I put my shoulders back. Whew. 
Come back up. All right. You might want to shake it out for a second. Just wrist stuff. I'm going to put my hands back again. If you have wrist issues, just go with the first version of this and do it twice. But now I'm going to look to my right. It's going to be your left. So inhale, look straight at me. Exhale, turn. Oh, that's hard to keep your shoulders in a position where you want to push your chest down, shoulders back, and look. Completely different feeling. Can't quite put my chin at 90 degrees, but I'm doing my best. I'm going to drop it a little bit. I have a tendency to look up a little bit here, but I'm going to turn and stretch that opposite trap. And I'm feeling it in my hands as well. So be careful. This is stressful on my wrist. So if you feel it, take breaks or just do the first version. Let's go back to center very gently. Shake it out right here. Now I'm going to do is the modified version on the right. Actually, you do the modified version if you need to. I'll stick with this. And just try because I feel that really good benefit in my delts, but my wrists are not feeling so hot right now. So look at me, deep breath. Exhale, slowly turn to your right. Oh, God. It's nice. Gently come back to center, shake it out again. All right, so this is where I'm going to do two last stretches, and that'll be it. What I'm going to try to do is look up as much as I can, and then we're going to pull down here, but not try to yank or bounce or anything. So once again, I'm going to try to feel where I'm at right now, looking up, because it's not natural, especially with my neck injuries. So I'm just going to see just what my range is before we go. You don't have to do this. Feels looser. So let me see what I can do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine this, grab my feet, really going to stretch my hips and knees. It's a little lower already, not too bad. And I'm going to inhale and just look up without grabbing any part of my head. Inhale and look up. Now what I'm trying to do really too is push down with my elbows, but also round my shoulders towards the front a little bit. So when I look up, it's like my traps are rounding around to the front here and getting an extra stretch. This works for me with my history of uh, spinal and neck uh, issues. If it feels okay for me, it may feel okay for you. But if it doesn't, you just look at a different angle, like just even a little bit above the TV or tablet or phone, 45 degrees. And I'm not even quite at 90 here, even after working on it. So I'm just trying to feel better right now because I'm looking up at the sky and the rain is coming and I know my neck is not going to feel too hot later on today. So this might, might be proactive in not having the pain later on and the achiness. Take a breath for me. Exhale. Come back, look right at me. This is the tricky one. The modification is just tucking again. You can put your elbows here, you can put your hands up here. You can do whatever you need to do. I'm gonna try to put one hand on top of my head, like right above my ponytail. Other hand, elbows up towards me. Now you don't wanna pull, you wanna inhale. Exhale, just drop your elbows. Almost like a crunch. But what I'm doing is I'm just pushing ever so slightly chin into my upper chest, into my collarbone. And what I might do here is stack them up. That doesn't feel good because I'm crossing them. Keep them separate right here. Now, obviously, check with a doctor and get cleared before you do anything like this. I'm just feeling through it. But I have, like I said, I have a big history of neck injuries and surgeries even throat surgeries. That might be why I not, might not be able to tuck my chin too because of the implant and all the other stuff I got going on in my throat. Who knows? But that could be an excuse. I'm just not very flexible. I need to work on this stuff. Oh, feels good to me at least right now. <sighs> all 
All right, lightly let go, but don't take your hands off. Inhale, look straight up at me at the TV. And there you go. That was more neck than shoulders, but I felt into my shoulders. Very easy um, post-workout stuff. Don't don't be trying to do any kind of like isometric stretch, isometric stretches or anything. I usually do ballistic and mobility stuff before any kind of resistance training, and then this kind of stuff is post-workout. So. Uh, keep that in mind. Whatever works for you, though. I just I just know that if I'm holding positions and I'm in static poses and stuff, and then I go to try to lift weights where I'm moving, it doesn't seem to work. I the opposite way with mobility and ballistic stretching, and then getting into this afterwards uh, it seems to work out for me. I have dedicated days for this, obviously, uh, to make sure that this is my health and wellness type days. So meditation's coming up soon. Hopefully we'll get it. I will not be an expert at it. I'm just working on it just like you guys. So please uh, check it out. Please subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Comment below about this video and what you'd like to see in future yoga videos. And if you want early access, you want to be able to download all these workouts and keep them forever, go to patreon.com forward slash Stevie Richards. But for now, thank you guys. God bless you and have a great day.